The brain is unequivocally one of nature's masterpieces. Now, it's not a lot to look at. It's about 1,300 grams, about three pounds, give or take. But despite this unassuming appearance, within those confines, there are approximately 100 billion neurons and a near infinite capacity for connectivity. More importantly, the brain is the engine of the mind. It is that beautiful and complicated machine that allows us to perceive, to reason, to communicate, and to feel. And we are barely beginning to understand how it works. My name is Dr. Roy Hamilton. I'm a behavioral and cognitive neurologist at the Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania. In this course, my colleagues and I hope to take you through a guided tour of the brain as it relates to cognition. What we are going to do is take you through how neurologists and neuroscientists think about brain and how it relates to thinking. We'll tour the visual system and learn a little bit about how the brain makes sense of objects, human faces, and even places. We'll discuss language and understand how language is organized in the brain and what kinds of problems patients encounter when they have damage to those language areas. We'll also talk about more complicated decision making, judgment, personality, and how those things can go awry in the setting of brain injury. We'll think about memory. We'll discuss what memory is and how all of your memories can be stored in such a small space. We'll also think about whether or not that little bit of forgetfulness that you have from time to time is perfectly normal or whether it's the subtle signs of something more ominous like Alzheimer's disease. We'll also think about the tools that neuroscientists and clinicians use to understand the relationship between the brain and thought as well as to understand the disorders of thinking in the brain. So I hope that you will join me and my colleagues in a tour of the brain, what lies behind the mind. <laughs>